it's R. Malier here doing a review on Topsy, a social search engine that is uh, new on the scene. Uh, I stumbled across it when they did a uh, track back to my blog um, on one of my blog entries and uh, I looked into it and it's really promising so I wanted to do a review so you guys can all uh, get to know you know the the features of the search engine and uh, hopefully use it uh, in your campaigns or for your clients or anything else that you uh, might find it useful for. Uh, so basically uh, Topsy is a real-time search engine for the social web. It, it indexes um, according to them over uh, several billion uh, tweets so far and it's only going to get uh, bigger and bigger so um, any tweet from anybody uh, you know that you can think of is on here um, they have several other features on here where you can drill down uh, from searches on the web to um, searches of photos that relate to your keyword, um, to tweets that have the keyword, to uh, experts, which is a, a really cool feature. Experts actually allows you to um, drill down and find who's the most influential uh, or the biggest expert uh, for a particular keyword or search term. And then, of course, you have um, the ability to see what's trending out there. Um, over here on the right side, you can see that I'm logged in with my Twitter account, and uh, that gives me a few other features. Um, you got easy access down here to some trending topics that you can click on. And uh, so let's do a demonstration with um, a pretty, uh, pretty cool uh, keyword that I like. Yeah. Some of you might have heard of it. It's SEO. Uh, search engine optimization is is uh, is a big one, and uh, you know when you do a search for SEO, uh, a social search, um, it brings up you know everything out there relating to the word SEO, according to its indexing. So um, the thing that I like is um, it brings up one of my favorite SEO blogs and companies, which happens to be uh, our very own. Uh, Seattle native uh, Rand Fish's uh, business called SEO Moz right here. Uh, so I can click on that link and it takes me straight to his blog and all of the awesome things that you can read about search engine optimization uh, at SEO Moz. Uh, but that is just the web query. If you drill it down to uh, photos, it'll give you some related uh, photos about SEO and some of the things that uh, have that keyword associated with it. And then you can drill it down into tweets about SEO. Um, when you look about you look at the uh, tweets out there, it shows you the number of tweets in the past four hours that have that keyword. Uh, so almost 4,000 tweets. Uh, this tool can be really handy as far as gauging um, you know the amount of traffic of a, of a certain keyword that you might want to monitor um, you know and then you can actually it's almost like a a nice list that you can go through and start um, you know segmenting and targeting a particular market that that you want to be in and people in that market that you want to follow so pretty handy little thing here um, and then if you go into experts is another thing that I like the expert section kind of Gauge is uh, influence or clout, if you will, uh, for people on Twitter that uh, have been mentioned or retweeted or whatever the case may be uh, around the particular keyword that you're searching for. So in SEO, again, you can see Leo Fernandez is ranking the highest with almost uh, 1,300, uh, some odd hundred mentions around SEO. Uh, but let's not count out our, our friends at SEO Moz down here. Uh, on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth spot, and uh, their founder and CEO is on the tenth spot uh, as far as ranking for the keyword SEO um, in social search and Topsy's uh, index. So pretty awesome. Um, you got all those features, and then we can go on over here to trending and see what's trending. Uh, these are some of the trending topics and and articles. Uh, that are going on right now. These don't particularly uh, relate to SEO. Uh, these are just trends, and you can see, you know, the top 100 trends or, you know, the top 1,000 trends. It, it 
it has 34 pages of, of uh, you know, so it basically just reduces the amount of stuff that you would go through, you know, 5,000, uh, you know, stuff like that. So uh, another cool feature is the ability to change languages. So if we wanted to read in Deutsch, but I can see Deutsch, you could just hit that and it switches it over to um, the German language and then here we have it looks like uh, some kanji I'm not exactly sure but it looks could be Japanese or Chinese uh, pardon me for the illiteracy there uh, Portuguese uh, Espanol and then that looks like it might be Hindi uh, and then we've got some French so they even have the um, international market uh, in mind with their uh, translations and then on the right side you know you can go ahead and share whatever page you're on on Twitter or subscribe to the results of whatever page you were on by RSS so you can have RSS feed for um, that keyword um, that keeps you up to date on everything flying through here lots of powerful handy features um, you can go down into advanced search advanced search uh, you know, lets you get really, really fancy with uh, specifics of what you're looking for. Um, and then, you know, if you want to go further, there's some, some developer APIs here you can access. Uh, there is extra content uh, material like the pingback service and the trackback uh, bookmarklet. And then, of course, uh, the search plugin for the web browser. I think that only supports. Uh, Firefox and IE right now so Safari and Google uh, Chrome users may have to wait a little while to be able to have this uh, uh, plugin in your uh, in your browser so that's really cool and then um, going back to the home page uh, just to give you an idea if I were to look myself up let's say our Malayeri um, it would give you know all of the queries on some of the things that I've been doing on Twitter, my retweets, my tweets, my my postings. But uh, what I like is, you know, if I if I scroll over some of the people in here that have tweeted or retweeted, it gives me a a pop up window where I can you know see a quick view of who they are, what they're all about, uh, and the ability to just hit the follow button right there. Um, so that's really handy. You can also drill down and see who else has retweeted a certain tweet um, so you know this particular uh, blog post has had 12 tweets and I can just kind of follow along and see you know who tweeted or retweeted it even uh, includes the um, clout or ranking score here you can see uh, the highly influential uh, highlight for Cure Magazine uh, which uh, if you hover over, you can see that they have uh, just over 3,000 followers, but uh, their influence score is high because of the types of people that retweet them and things of that nature. So you can even see cloud scores. Um, so pretty awesome, pretty powerful social search engine. Um, I recommend you guys take a peek, do a couple searches, play around, and see how you like it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next review.